All right, the KSI, DAZN, and Misfits boxing event is over, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on each fight. All of them except one, because there's only one I didn't watch, because I had to go do something when that fight came on, and that was the, I don't even remember their names, to be honest, the the heavyweight guys, the, those that crazy guy, and the other guy. That's the only, I, I know the result, but I didn't watch it, because I had to do something. But yeah, starting off with Dean the Great versus Evil Hero, pretty decent fight. I had a feeling that Dean the Great would win. He was my prediction to win, and he won. And then he busted his face trying to do that back flip or front flip. I don't remember what kind of flip it was, but either way, he busted his face trying to do a flip, which was pretty funny. But he kept in great spirits after that, and yeah, he got the W. All right, Salt Poppy versus, I don't remember his opponent's name, but that was an interesting fight. Salt Poppy got him out of there in the first round, first round KO or TK, I don't know. Either way, he got him out of there in the first round. I think it, I've seen some people say they'd want Salt Poppy to face KSI in a future boxing event. I think that could be an interesting fight. I think KSI would edge that, but it'd be an interesting fight. King Kenny versus FaZe Sensei. You people who think that King Kenny didn't deserve to win are delusional. King Kenny dominated that entire fight. He gave Face Sensei a boxing lesson. I wonder how many of you have already left or disliked the video for me saying that. I was just messing around, by the way. That's not what I think about that fight. Just wanted to play with you all a little bit. I think that that was an absolute robbery. Sensei was the one that gave King Kenny a lesson. I like King Kenny. I like both of them. But Face Sensei dominated that entire fight. He should have won, not King Kenny. Even King Kenny was surprised. That face that he made when his name was called out as the winner, that was like, wow. I literally, when that result came up, I literally said, what? That was my reaction. What? Something fishy must be going on, because how has King Kenny gotten this result twice when his opponent was the one that dominated the fights? It all makes sense. Something strange is going on. But hopefully it gets overturned because Sensei deserves that win, especially if it's his last time boxing ever. Like he deserves that win, man. It, the moment was already stolen from him in the ring, but hopefully it gets overturned. So he gets the belt. All right, Deji versus Fusi. I predicted that Fusi would win that fight. I, I predicted that he would stop Deji in like the second or third round, but that didn't happen. Our boy Deji finally got a victory he finally got a w and i'm so happy for him i'm so happy for him first he scored a knockdown on fusi which i did not see coming at all then i think he got a standing eight count as well on he scored a standing eight count on fusi so that's technically like another knockdown and then fusi's team threw in the towel because that you just kept banging fusi up which was amazing to see after how hard Fuzi was trying to act all week and saying like this is your last chance to Deji saying he's not an easy fight but Deji I'm so just I'm, I've already said it twice before but I'm just so proud of him I'm so happy for him he finally got a W well deserved he showcased great skill better than anything we've seen in his three previous fights it was just incredible to see man all right slim versus face temper well, I wanted Slim to win, I thought that Temper would win. And I'm glad that Blueface got removed because I feel like this was a much more competitive fight than Temper and Blueface would have been. I feel like Temper would have gotten Blueface out of there pretty quickly, but it was a much more competitive fight with Slim in there instead. And on two weeks notice too, like he was, he rocked Temper a few times and then knocked him out. I lit my my jaw was hanging to the floor when I saw that happen. I was not expecting that at all. Like that was my immediate reaction, jaw dropping to the floor. And then I was like, "What happened, Temper? I thought Slim was gonna have a hard time touching you during this fight." And I mean, even though I'm poking fun a little bit, I have respect for everyone who stepped in the ring tonight and everyone who steps in the ring any other time. I have a lot of respect for fighters who step in the ring. It's something I unfortunately can't do for safety reasons but yeah all right now talking about ksi's two fights ksi definitely shocked the world well not in the way that he probably thought he would but like just fighting two times in one night that's a shock to the world right there i predicted he would beat swarms and he obviously did i knew he was going to beat swarms we all knew he was going to beat swarms come on let's be real here but then against the professional boxer i thought that pinata well i don't know how to say his name i'm just going to say pinata i'm sorry i know i'm saying it wrong but i just can't remember how to say it so i'm just going to say pinata I, I thought Pinata was going to beat KSI, but KSI knocked him down like 10 times. Like, how many times you got to be knocked down before the fight is called off? 
and he kept complaining too, which was, you know, whatever, but KSI won again, both fights. I feel like he's still not ready for Jake Paul, just because, like, the level at which his opponents were, they weren't enough of a challenge for him to truly display good skill. Like, he, he displayed good skill, but, like, it wasn't enough to where I'd be like, yeah, he's ready for Jake Paul, because I, I don't think that. He needs, like, two at least two more fights against harder opponents, like Tommy Fury or Austin McBroom. Both of them are tougher opponents than Swarms and Pinata. So, yeah, overall, I think it was a great event. I know a lot of people are not happy with KSI's fights, but... Alex Wasabi pulled out, what are you gonna do? He did very well under the circumstances. And you know I gotta say it again, I'm so happy for Deji. Deji was the one that actually touched Fuzi in a way that he's never been touched before. Not the other way around like Fuzi said he was gonna do. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of all these fights, what you thought of this event. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.